Hi, this is Leslie Langnaw, Managing Editor of Design World Magazine, and I'm here today with Joe Seringione, National Sales Manager, Energy Chain Systems for IGUS Incorporated. Thank you for joining me, Joe. Um, at IMTS, your company displayed products that protect portions of machine tools from chips and chip damage. How does the RX tube protect machine tools, and how does it differ from the guide lock or accomplish a similar function? Sure. Um, yeah, many of our energy chain cable carriers are, are ideal for applications of the machine tool industry, especially our enclosed versions that protect cables from hot chips and flying debris. The RX energy tube is nearly 100% chip proof and ensures that all debris simply falls off thanks to a specially designed domed link shape. So it's um, actually the link, the shape of the link that makes the difference? Yep, that's one of the features that allows the chips to, to roll off of it. There's also a, uh, a pressure fit of the lid on the link that keeps the chips from penetrating it. Okay. We, we have performed uh, a number of comprehensive tests, including underwater uh, experiments and tests that measure chip penetration and we've carried these out in our test labs and confirmed that the energy tube, the RX energy tube, is nearly 100% airtight, which keeps the chips out. Wow. Now, how does this differ from the guide lock? Our horizontal guide lock system is a guiding system that can be used with the RX energy tube, as well as with many of our other energy tubes. Okay. Um, because, because debris and chips can become trapped between a cable carrier's upper and lower runs, uh, in gliding applications, when the upper and lower run, uh, when the upper run slides on the lower run, we designed the guide lock to keep the upper run of the chain supported by using a spring-loaded roller support. Okay. Uh, the roller support is pushed back as the cable carrier passes through, and before snapping again after the radius of the chain has passed. Uh, this way, the upper run always rests on the roller support and doesn't need to glide on the lower run. And with this, we can achieve travel distances of up to 165 feet. Okay. Now, are there any constraints that engineers need to know in regards to using these two products? Uh, yes. With the RX tube, the travel length is typically limited to applications where the chain can operate in an unsupported configuration, which is approximately 10 to 15 feet. Uh, or if it's used with a guide lock system, it can, it can do longer travel distances, up to 165, uh, but it's due to the shape of the link that it can't glide on itself. Okay. Um, the horizontal guide lock system does require more space to install uh, because it has supports that have to be installed, and it can be slightly noisy at high speeds. Hmm. Do you have any suggestions for how to dampen that noise? or? If noise is an issue in a high-speed application, we would probably look for a different solution. Okay, okay. You also showcased your new twister band cable carrier. Um, how were you able to obtain 3,000 degrees of motion with that product? Oh, yeah, sure. The, uh, the twister band product has a unique design that allows multiple revolutions just by adding length to the chain. You know, even at high rotating speeds, the cable carrier stays close to the axis of rotation, and the unique chain design minimizes wear. Previously, when demanding rotary applications were required with, with high rotations, our regular ca cable carriers with reverse bend radiuses, uh, either machined or molded, were used. However, with these RBR applications, circular movements of only 540 degrees were possible. Hmm. Um, and installation space that it would, those typical RBR chains required more space to operate in the terms of depth and width. With the twister band, uh, we can do rapid rotating movements up to 3,000 degrees and even more uh, in a minimal space. Okay. You mentioned something a little bit about a unique chain design for that. Can you go into that in a little bit more detail? Yep. The, this chain in particular is designed, uh, unlike our other chains, they're designed in a straight linear, uh, uh, straight linear shape. This chain is actually designed and, and molded in a circular shape, hmm. and we can extend that by adding links onto that. So we can, that's how we achieve the degrees of rotation. Uh, it's, it's practically unlimited, but the space 
gets bigger and bigger as the rotation increases. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Um, where would an engineer go to find more information about these products? We have quite a bit of information on our website at www.igus.com. Okay. And uh, we have literature available as well that can be sent out. Well, thank you very much for joining me, Joe. Uh, I appreciate the information. Thank you.